So this question is a diagram question. More specifically, we have a graph provided here. This is a graph of a scatter plot, and we have a line of best fit provided. So, you know, we've seen these types of questions before on the SAT. The x-axis is housing units in 2010. The y-axis is housing units in 2018. So the question says the scatter plot shows the number of housing units in 2010 and 2018 for each of 11 U.S. states. Okay? doesn't tell us what those states are, but each of those dots represents a state. A line of best fit with the equation y equals ax. So I'm going to circle that. So our line of best fit has the equation y equals ax. What does that tell me? First of all, that tells me that the y-intercept is 0, which we have, right? Because otherwise, we'd have a plus b here. But our b is 0, so no need for a number there. And our a value is the slope, right? It's like y equals mx plus b format. So our a value is the slope. We don't know what the slope is. Yeah, so not, not yet at least. All right, so where a is a constant is also shown. A point lies ab if no, it's not if it, a point lies above this line if and only if it represents a state with an increase in housing units from 2010 to 2018 greater than seven percent. So these guys here, so these points lie above the line because they had an increase in housing units greater than 7%. What is the value of A? Hmm. So what is the slope, basically? All right, so here's, here's what it has to be. So first of all, the hint is with regard to the points that lie above the line. So if you lie above the line, it says that you have to have been a, a, there had to have been a greater than 7% increase in the housing units. So here's the deal. If y equal just x, or in this case, like a would equal 1, that would mean there is like a 1 to 1 ratio between housing units in 2018 and 2010, which practically means that they were flat. There's no growth. The same number of housing units present in 2010 was equal to the same exact number of housing units in 2018. For each of those states, they would actually be on the line if our slope was just one. Now, in order to be above the line, it's saying that you have to be greater than 7% increase. So what's a 7% increase? Well, that's saying that 100% of the housing units in 2010 plus an additional 7%, so 2010, plus an additional 7% leads us to 107% for 2018. So as a decimal, that would be 1.07. So if these points have to be ab above 7% increase in housing units in order to be above the line, in a tricky way, the question is saying that this line is y equals 1.07x, right? It's saying that that line represents the slope is one07 so that if you're above that, it automatically means that there was a seven, a greater than 7% increase. If you're on it, it was exactly 7% increase. If you're lower than it, then you had a lower than 7% increase. So this is a bit of a tricky question. Um, it is a line, though. So hopefully your mind goes to thinking about y equals mx plus b. Like I mentioned earlier, b is 0, so that's why that's gone. And then you know this idea of 7% greater, I haven't really seen any other SAT questions like this. So just you know, mark this in your notes, mark it in your notes, a scatter plot. If you're told that points are above the line or below the line, have some representation in terms of percentage, then that percentage is directly connected to the actual slope itself. Very important information to write down in case you see something like this on the real test.